Yo, so I've been getting a lot of questions on the best way to approach creating grills for uh, the DAS Studio models. And it's fairly easy. I've, uh, I've taken the liberty to create some assets, textures that you can use. The link is in the description. Uh, they're free of course. And this video is just to demonstrate on how to use those. So I imported a DAS model into my scene. Um, for the sake of the tutorial I just removed every unnecessary texture except for the eyes just so just for some visual contrast uh, so let's just fire that up what you can see here is the mouth and the teeth those are the materials that are still in my scene and what I want to do first is uh, duplicate the teeth by holding down um, command mm, there we go and then I'll duplicate the teeth material by the same way and I'll just duplicate that texture and for now we'll be going into the grills um, folder from the resources and there's four folders one is for both rows one is for both rows but with uh, flame decals then we got a bottom row and the top row so let's let's pick the flames whoops let's do this and pick the flames so let's drag in the opacity map which will also serve as the uh, displacement map. Drag that in. And let's get rid of that diffuse. Make it black. Crank the index down. Maybe the roughness as well. And let's pick a let's pick a like a bright orange for the specular, maybe more yellow get a little bit of the gold look and then we'll copy this and drag in our normal which looks like this very simple just open it up put it on the normal channel then we'll be adding a displacement so under displacement just click add displacement and we will drag in the same texture that we're driving the opacity with and then I'll just apply that to our duplicated teeth material as you can see this is not what we want so let's crank this down to 0.1 there we go and as you can see it's looking not as nice that's why we will choose uh, 4k for the level of detail and there we go so what I'll be doing now is uh, creating a subdivision surface and then let's zoom in a bit more maybe let's crank the level of detail down to 0 0.5 yeah this is looking more like it maybe even less 0, 03 uh, maybe even zero, 01 yeah that seems fine and what you're able to do then is just go into your OG teeth material and maybe crank the index down as well reduce the roughness a bit so you can see what's happening right now and what I can really recommend doing is heading over to Travis David's uh, Gumroad he has some incredible displacement um, and alpha patterns which you can see here this is uh, both packs you get a bunch of maps that you can use for uh, tileable stuff like floors, 
walls, regular materials, surfaces. And it can even help with grills. So I'll just be using some of those to demonstrate. You can also create your own tileable textures, which I'm sure you can look up fairly easily. So what I will be doing is dragging an image texture and get one of those displacement patterns in there. Plug that into the bump, add a transform node and scale it down a bit. So now you can see what's happening. You get a very nice look going on already with just a few textures. Of course you're also able to change the material to a specular maybe. So let's head over there and make sure our index is up again at about 0.47 I believe was diamonds. Um, I'm not too sure but I think 2.47 or 9 and we can crank up the dispersion so you can see we got some RGB light uh, refractions in there going on uh, you can even crank it up way more and it's also depending on the lighting you're using but that's a good way to go for it we can crank the roughness up by let's say 001 maybe that's fine maybe even get a transmission in there There's RGB spectrum let's pick a light blue maybe pick a even more saturated blue Tone down the dispersion for now, so you can see what's happening. Maybe even increase that, so we get a deeper blue. And then of course we can head over here, and go into the specular again. Make it purplish maybe. More purple. Yeah, something like that. And there you go. You've got a nice look going on. Of course, you can refine it. I could turn down the roughness completely. Or I could just remove the bump and make it a glossy again. Turn the index down again. Crank up the roughness a bit. So you get something like this going on. And of course you could just head over. Replace our map. If we just want the top row for example. Replace this one. There we go copy it, get that normal in here, add that there, and there we go. It's a very nice way of doing grills. Of course you can remove those completely and just drive the regular grills by this image texture and the bump maybe pick a different one, the diamond studded one then you can play around, you can invert it if that's more to what you're looking for of course we can zoom in more all those displacement maps come with normal maps as well so you can use those as well so let's just get a displacement in there and see how that would be working out for us of course we want to tone it down again, 0 0.005 for the beginning, turn it to 4k, maybe turn it up to 0.1, that's too much as you can see, 
it's already spilling out so let's stay with 0.004 maybe turn those back on see if they're colliding yes of course they are because the displacement is way higher on this one so let's go to 0, 0 0.5 that should do it and of course we could get a projection in there plug it into both and maybe switch it to box plug the ratio and scale it down again and of course we could get a fall off node you can just at this point play around with the materials turn it down clear the diffuse so you get something like this there's all kinds of looks you can be creating you can also just import the regular teeth map of DAS into Photoshop overlay the maps I did and then add some additional teeth if you want more you can do whatever you desire it's very easy and very quick to do as I said before uh, the link for this uh, texture pack is in the description uh, the Gumroad one and if you have any questions feel free to comment down below message me on Instagram if you have any suggestions for next tutorial same goes for that and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for stopping by.